Dr. Venaduzzi. In this video, we are going over the bone that makes up the pelvic girdle. And a girdle is made by bone or bones that connect our limbs to our exoskeleton. In the case of the pelvic girdle, we have a single bone, which is the bone that you know as the hip bone, os coxa or coxal bone. And this bone is made by the fusion of three bones. And the way you identify the three bones is by putting your finger here and making a T like that, okay? This that we just put our finger on, this is the acetabulum. The acetabulum is always lateral because the acetabulum is what articulates with the head of the femur, okay? So, if you look here in the bony guy, this is the hip bone or coxal bone or coxa, and you can see here that the acetabulum is articulating with the head of the femur. If you place your fingers like this in the acetabulum, you will be able to identify the three bones that got fused. The bone that is at the top, this is the ilium. The bone that is posterior is the ischium and the bone that is anterior is the pubis. How do I know this is posterior? Because again, the acetabulum is lateral and this then is all the way in the back. This is posterior and the pubis is the pubic region, right? Is anterior. So here is the pubis. Okay, let's start by looking at the ilium. The ilium, we are looking at the ilium from an anterior view, and this part of the ilium is what we call iliac fossa. A fossa is a depression. This part of the ilium is like a crest. Consequently, this is named iliac crest. Now, when we look at the ilium, right here, we see this notch. And this notch belongs to the ilium and is much bigger than this notch that we see here. If we look from a posterior view, we can see both notches again. This is the notch that belongs to the ilium and this is the other notch that is smaller. This notch that's big is called greater sciatic notch and it belongs to the ilium. This small notch does not belong to the ilium. This small notch belongs to the ischium. And you know that because you see this spine, this pointy structure, this bone feature is named ischiospine. And if this is the ischiospine, this right here, which is the lesser sciatic notch, needs to also belong to the ischium bone. This part of the ischium bone that is rough is a tuberosity. And it's basically the part of the bone that we use to sit, okay? It's all the way posterior right here. You see, this is the ischium. And this part of the ischium is rough. And a rough spot in a bone we name tuberosity. Consequently, this tuberosity in the ischium is named ischial tuberosity. Awesome. If we move anteriorly, here we have the pubis. Now, as you can see, we have this hole right here. And this hole is the hole that the obturator nerve uses to go through. And this hole is in between the pubis, which is anterior, and the ischium, which is posterior. Consequently, this hole is shared by these two bones. And this hole is named obturator foramen. The obturator foramen is a shared feature between the pubis and the ischium bones. Now, we started by looking at the acetabulum. And the acetabulum was the one that we made a T, 
Consequently, you can conclude that the acetabulum is made by the three bones. The acetabulum is a shared feature between the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis bones. When we look in this model right here, we have the hip bone articulating with the femur. We cannot see very well the head of the femur articulating with the acetabulum, but we can see that they are articulating. So what you do is, you remember that this is the spine, this is the ischial spine. Consequently, all the way in the back, this is the ischium. And then you remember if this is the ischial spine, this right here is much smaller than this. You have the lesser sciatic notch of the ischium. And then this great, the big one is the greater sciatic notch of the ilium. This is the iliac fossa. This is the iliac crest. If this is the ischial spine, this is the ischium. Here you have the tuberosity. This is the ischial tuberosity. If this is the ischial spine and this is the ischium, this bone right here anteriorly has to be the pubis. Between the pubis and the ischium, we have this shared feature that is named obturator foramen. And when we would look at the hip bone, the oscoxa bone, laterally, we would see the acetabulum. But in this model, we cannot see very well because it is articulating with the head of the femur and they are connected. Please let me know if this video is helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye!